Hello, dear friends, and welcome to the International Fab Talks. Thank you for being a part of our journey. And we love all of you because you have a lot of warmth and joy within you, which you share with us every single day. Thanks for enabling us to connect with many unsung heroes. Thank you for sharing the contacts. Thank you for sharing details on how we could connect with the next unsung hero. Many thanks to all of you. And today we'd like to welcome on this special day, our special celebrity. She's Dr. Sanchita Brahmachari from Nagpur. And she is an individual who's focused on bringing a beautiful change in the lives of children and women. And of course, everyone as well. So let's welcome our special celebrity first, get to know her first and then into her profile. Hello, ma'am, and welcome to the session. Namaskar. Namaskar, ma'am. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you for accepting the invitation to the International Fab Talks. It's really a blessing. Yes, dear. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. Thank you, dear. My friends, when any of the celebrities accept the invitation from the International Fab Talks, it's a proud moment. It's a moment of joy and celebration. Why? Because our unsung heroes have been through a lot of ups and downs and yet been resilient, having the power of resilience, I could say, to face everything and share the space today with us they want you to work on your lives and to be strong. They wouldn't want you to give up your lives easily at just at the minor uh, problems that you face every day in life. Many of them think of giving up their lives or going into depression, committing suicides. But we have seen several unsung heroes who have stood strong. And today we have our special hero with us. She's Dr. Sanjita Brahmachari. Dear ma'am, I'd like to go ahead and share your profile in an official way. Sure yeah, ma'am, go ahead. Thank you dear. Dear friends, as I earlier mentioned, she is Dr. Mrs. Sanchita Brahmachari, a very approachable person, warm person. The moment you connect with her, you'll have that instinct connection. Like, yes, I know this person from a very long time. She makes you feel comfortable. And friends, she is an academician and a writer, author, like you could give a, the better name as author, a poet, and a motivational speaker, and much more. Join me now to go deeper into her profile. She's Dr. Mrs. Sanjita Brahmachari. She's completed her MA Psychology, B. Ed. as well, the ex-principal of Academic Heights Public School, Bandara, if I'm getting that right, Maharashtra, yes. communication evangelist, motivational speaker, certified phonic tra uh, trainer, certified phonic trainer, communication coach, a trainer, academic consultant. She was born and raised in Mumbai, a beautiful place working in many areas like the media house, corporate sector, the academic sector, the hotel industry, and as I earlier mentioned, academic sector, which is also the educational field. Now she's working on creating a change in the minds of young women and children, wanting them to love and respect themselves, not to be doormats, not to be neglected in the society, to give importance to themselves, to value themselves. And she's been associated in this beautiful cause for more than 40 years, giving her expertise to various fields. She's a wonderful speaker for many communities and global summits as well. She was interviewed by the All India Radio Nagpur. She has written several articles for educational magazines. Ma'am was also a CBSC observer for grade 10 and 12 board exams. Apart from that, here is the biggest thing. She has received several awards. We receive one award, we will get seeing Ajati Hamko, but ma'am has received several awards and she's so down to earth and polite. Yes, dear. She has, she's the recipient of the honorary uh, international do doctorate in the field of student development and communication skills 2023. That is this year, Rashtriya Pratishta Puruskar 2023. She's received that. Na Nations Pride Achievers Award in 2022. Indo-American Icon Award in 2021, Rashtriya Gaurav Puraskar 2021, Nation's Pride Award 2021, Nation's Pride Book of Records, that is again in 2021, Best Educators Award 2021, Sata, if I can get that right, Satakshi Award, Satakshi Award 2021, Principal of the Year 2020, Sabya Award 2020, Jury Award in the Field of Psychology 2020, and many other awards to name. I just named a few of them. There are many more to her list. She's also involved in uh, writing, as I earlier mentioned. She's a beautiful author, and she is continuing the beautiful journey of writing a beautiful book on happy parenting. 
and that is really the need of the hour if we are good parents we will really have a future generation uh, if the future generations will really be good the younger ones in our hands we are the ones to mold them as parents we should not commit any crime or mistake when we look after children so it's i love this term happy parenting many of us curse ourselves why we have become parents or why have we given birth to children i have seen that but here this book is going to really help us how to be happy parents and she also focuses on another book on being a woman and that's really nice i love that being a woman is something very lovely and it's a gift being a born a woman not a curse in few areas or, or a few people think that being born a woman is a curse and may in many states of india uh, be a girl child is not welcome but yes being a woman is really a pride and a gift from god yes dear let's get to know about our special celebrity now by joining us you will have a great time friends ma'am we begin with a round of the interview yeah. yes go ahead <clears throat> dear friends i'm excited to know more about ma'am as to all of it what we've been just sharing now concentrating on happy parenting on being a woman on getting different awards on being recognized in different areas a motivational speaker an academician and the ex principal and all of that dear ma'am it's magical to me now so because like i'm going to have a great time with you actually i'd like to we both yes yes go ahead dear we both yes we yeah. both will have a good time ma'am yes, yeah. The main round of the interview begins with the first question. Who is the real Sanchita? How would you define her? Wow. <laughs> the real Sanchita is very passionate, very ambitious. And uh, the real Sanchita is always open to learning. I'm always open to learning whenever I get the opportunity to learn. And no matter from whoever, whether the person is younger to me, Whether the person is very older, or even I, I, I know I can get something, some good knowledge from a mediocre, uh, who may not be very learned, but uh, has seen the life ups and downs, and if I can take something much better, I am always ready for that. So I am always open to learning, and yes, I am very passionate about my work, and of course, very ambitious. Sometimes uh, these things do stand as a, you know, a, a trouble, but. life has to go on and it goes on and i always try to upbeat it and move ahead that is what is all about me yes dear as you mentioned that learning no matter from who you learn but you have to learn something to keep that beautiful journey from the grave absolutely now it's like the, from the cradle to the grave absolutely i i i remember one of one, the celebrities sharing this ma'am lot lots of talent or lots of riches are being buried and she are, like you know in the grave they have not shared it with others they have just kept yes. it to themselves so being an academician you have to share it with others and when you share or you know teach others you also get to learn a lot from even students from your colleagues from the faculty members as well that's beautiful ma'am right. dear ma'am who inspired you to enter into the educational sector and of in training and all of that Uh, well, uh, right from my childhood, actually, whenever I used to see my teachers in my school, so they used to inspire me a lot. And I used to come home, and when I was a kid, that is what I very small age, I hardly remember. But whatever I remember, I used to come and I used to imitate my teachers at home. You know, writing on the wall as the children do, becoming a teacher. And all my plants, my mother had a very beautiful potted plant, so all those plants used to be my students. so uh, this is how it developed and i was very much inclined to this profession basically i used to be very talkative you know in the class so that made me somewhere i think uh, to get to know more about children and when i finished my 10th and uh, i got a first uh, when i took up my it was not actually a job since my subject was psychology so i want and the subject was in child psychology so i wanted to know the how the child you know react how the child uh, like behave all those uh, readings i had to take so i joined a very nearby school a kindergarten school where i had studied uh, spend my kindergarten days there but uh, not charging any emoluments i was not getting any salary no wages so i worked there for 3 years without any salary uh, just helping them out because that was a way uh, long time back and that time money was not important for me like because everything was very easily available and my dad was never in favor of working saying why the girls why you need to work no need to work just concentrate in your studies that is all 
so but uh, that was the area which always lured me you know teaching and uh, always wanted to be like uh, along with the children and that was how i entered into into this uh, profession but apart from this i worked in many other places as you have read it out so uh, that was a need of the hour that time so everywhere as i said you learn from each and every corner each and every area so that is how i have uh, nothing came to me very easily you know just it came in fall in my lap so for each and every step i had to uh, the were things were very challenging and i had to you know um, surpass those challenges and move ahead and god has been great very kind with me my parents had a great given us great support they never gave me any monetary support but they gave me a moral support and with that i moved ahead and uh, today i have reached here i think the journey is still on it's not over it is i hope it's just the beginning i feel <laughs> a long way to go that's a beautiful way ma'am to share yes the journey has just begun we all should yes. keep this in mind that yeah, the journey has just begun and not be relaxed and yes say i finished my job and this is it you have to be learners till the last moment i really like this the yes. journey has just begun that's a big takeaway for me and for all of the guests and the viewers as well Dear ma'am, as you said that you were a talkative child in school, would you like to share any incident that happened in school, a positive or a negative one, maybe at home or either in school? Ah, uh, school. Uh, yes, I used to be always uh, talkative, and moreover, I used to be always the last bencher. Always the last bencher, and uh, like I was not very much. I was an absolutely average student, to be very honest. my more inclination was towards dance towards theater then elocution as uh, right uh, speaking basically i was very much interested in speaking uh, poetry recitations all these areas used to lure me a lot and my father was just the opposite though my father was a very good uh, bengali rabindranath uh, sangeet singer and my mother was a amateur theater artist from bengali theater so that thing was continuously there at home those practices rehearsals but in spite of that uh, my my father especially he never encouraged me towards all these things his only inclination was padhai karo read read study study later he understood and he used to not directly say but other than apart behind me is to always say no apart from studies you have to initiate yourself in others also So I still remember I was in class ten, and uh, at from home there was a strict, uh, you know, when deadline was given, not to participate in any of the activity. And uh, in the school there was a gathering, and uh, in that gathering there was one activity which was a kawali singing. So I'm not a very good singer. I'm not a trained singer at all, but I I love singing. Uh, whenever I get I hum down something, and it was a group. so uh, at from home somehow i managed to you know uh, tackle up by some of the costume and i went to the school and i uh, like uh, appeared uh, we participated and uh, wrapped up and at home we came home but what to do with the makeup you know the slight makeup was was remaining and uh, like uh, though i tried to you know put on with the put off with the thing but i was caught at home and um, a good uh, like i had to really got i i at certain point i had got scared that now what do i what, what bahana should i give to give to my dad and saying that no no i was not initiated so then uh, I, i said now jhoot to pakdi gayi so i said no no it was a it was just a chorus song i was just standing behind nothing like that don't worry uh, studies will not get uh, disturbed so somehow i could manage that and i, I still remember when i whenever i think of that it really gives me goosebumps <laughs> how how i try to come out of that so that is all i still remember that it's a really a uh, uh, enjoyable i always share this with my kids also that your passion if you have uh, somewhere or the other you will definitely go ahead with your passion so yes. that is how it is I could visualize that little girl <laughs> that, with all that little makeup and all. I could just get yeah. that picture in my mind. <laughs> it was really very, very, very. It was hilarious at certain point of time. It was scary. That what do I? And I'm caught. What to do? What to do? What to say? But uh, that that's how the life goes on. 
Yes, yeah. Imagine you went through this and it was like goosebumps. And for me, listening to it, I was also like getting, oh my God, what's going to happen? Is she going to get a slap or is she going to stop uh, no. you know, pursuing her education? You never know certain parents may like take that. the next step. Uh -huh. Yes. Damn, but it's weird. Like I got good scolding and uh, like um, beatings. Uh, that used to be the last extent. But uh, yes, I used to get beatings also because that is just because uh, for my studies only for my marks only. Otherwise, uh, that that is not much. Uh, those days, corporate punishment was allowed, no? Yes. yes. <laughs> so very easily it was uh, no complaints, nothing of not of that sort. Yes, dear. Thank you, ma'am, <clears throat> for sharing that beautiful incident. And really, it made me remember about my 10th class. Now, where, what did I do and how? And I was thinking, imagine if I too was in that. Because that age is very... Uh, yes, it's a very exactly. Feel, you're so vulnerable. Like, you know, you're innocent at the same time. And, and there's exactly. fear at that age. You shouldn't do anything. Right. But again, there's an excitement, a feeling of excitement. Right. But take part in schools and meet friends and talk to them. Yes, dear. And study for that. Yes, it took me back Very to my 10th class. I was also thinking, did I do something like <laughs> that? Yes, dear. <laughs> Thank you. Dear ma'am, now we come to books, dear. You you are an author. You are authoring two books. And what made you think of focusing on these two aspects? Happy parenting and first we talk about happy parenting and then come down to being a woman. Yes, dear. Yes. Uh, since into this profession for such a long time, so whenever my most of the connectivities are with the parents and whenever the parents used to come and though I do counsel a lot of counseling, I do, I'm a authorized counselor, parent counselor also. So whenever the parents used to come, they used to always come with that, you know, that complaint zone. There's always a complaint zone. This is not happening. That is not happening. <clears throat> This is, and every time I have seen, whenever they come, they are always coming with a sullen face. So that smile, I could never see in any of the parents. I was been handling so many parents in a row every day when I was at the principal's chair, or rather as a teacher, PTM. Just, just two days ago, we have provided up with the PTM. So uh, every time the parents are always in the, you know, question, that complaint zone. So that somewhere, it made me that, uh, what is exactly they want from their children? I have asked this question many a time whenever I take any session for the parents. The first question I ask them is, what do you like to see in your children the moment you get up early in the morning? Believe me, nobody could give me a certain answer that I was looking for. And that is smile in your child's face. Today it is missing somewhere that we in our childhood had a lot of questions to ask to our parents why this why that how this how that today's children you will see they are not asking questions and it is very pathetic because we parents don't have the time to answer now earlier time we we i still remember like uh, every single thing uh, we used to come and share it with our mom dad we used to because he's a bread earner of the family, so he used to be most of the time out for his work and uh, <clears throat> doing the other sorts of jobs. But mom was 24 into 7 available. So everything, even a small, uh, some abusive words, if we have learned, that also used to ask, come and ask, how, uh, what is the meaning of that? So every single thing needs to be shared by, to, with our parents. And in the, in, the, in the process, the parents used to come to know about our whereabouts, about our working, about our movements, who are our friend circle, because those days we never had telephones and mobiles and so on things. But slowly, that thing somewhere is dying out. Today's day, do you see? It's dying out. Children don't ask questions. I really tell you, there are certain things. We were very open to our teachers. And that's why I say, Kamala Rao, ma'am, was more of a mother to us than a teacher. So we used to share each and every darkest secret of us with them so that we knew that it will not be shared with anybody else. There are so many dark secrets she must have hidden in her heart till today's date. So that's why I said she's a wonderful person. We couldn't share it with our parents also. There are times we are not able to freely talk to our parents. And that is where it, it struck me 
that I really need to point out certain things wherein by doing that, maybe by reading that, maybe uh, the parents may get some or the idea how to raise. I'm not saying the parents are uh, not able to raise their child, but at what level? The first thing today I, I see the things is the respect towards the parents by the children. It's not there. Towards the parents, towards the grandparents, towards the teachers, this is not there. So there I somewhere felt that, you no, know, I really need to uh, bend down whatever I have acquired, whatever I have learned from my seniors, from my teachers, from my parents, why not share it? So I thought that this will be the best medium uh, where I can write and that can reach uh, so many people around whoever will be reading it. And whenever I've been called for uh, the parent uh, sessions and all, I do share certain things. And believe me, it works. If, they, if you follow them, it really works. And that is exactly that I did with my daughter also. Since my, I was not available 24 into 7, I was a working mother. My daughter used to stay all alone. So every single moment, like when I was working for media, I was working for Times of India for some time. So by the time I used to come home, it used to be 7, 30, 12 at night. So I had, she used to be in the babysitting. So I had to bring her all along. That entire journey, whatever we used to walk down home, the entire journey, she used to tell me the entire story, what happened, how it's not. And even I also used to share. And that is what is the communication which we used to have. We still have it. And whatever you do, whatever she does, everything is noted. Why the outsiders will come and tell you. Make your child that self-reliant, that believe in your child. Believe in that. Make Bring that relationship between you and your child. That they feel free to come and discuss. Let it be anything. Adolescents, there are so many things to be shared. Children, so many things to be shared. But many a times, we as a parent fail. And today, that is what is exactly happening. The communication is slowly diminishing. And that's the reason we are more into mobile. We are more into the such a path where children are taken heavy. And there where I see that parents should be, if not very much, little bit of understanding, little bit of learning has to be there. And that's what it made me write this, uh, start writing this book. That is what. <clears throat> yeah. Hats off to you for this beautiful thought process of yours, being so observant yeah. and observing where yeah. the change has to come from and how parents could contribute to the growth of their children in a very specific way. It's not food, clothing and shelter that you give your children. It's much no, more. No. Yes. Okay. It's much more. And then that's a hidden thing that every parent should understand. The child has to come to you and share. Mm -hmm. Then a third person telling you something about your child. Your child mm -hmm. should be able to say that, share with you whether they have done good or bad. The worst thing. Come and open up to the parent. The parent should be forgiving. And, you know, that's called as happy parenting. I really get that. Right. Right. Yes, dear. Thank you. Ma'am. Yes, dear. Being a woman. Yes, I'd love to know more about this. How did this concept come into your mind? Being woman, it uh, it was just out of look. I was doing a session uh, with my uh, uh, webinar I was doing where I was addressing all the women and how they could keep themselves self-reliant, how they will make themselves skill, uh, skillfully, they will develop themselves. And that somewhere, you know, it hits me when I see around people, uh, the women especially, Though you are learned, though you are earning, I have seen one, uh, this is my personal, from my personal experience, I thought of writing this book. I have seen that even if you are earning, you're earning very good, but you don't have that financial independence. And that is was, it really, you know, struck me very hard that you are working, you are toiling the whole day from morning till evening. You know, you are teaching the school, you are taking classes, you are coaching and ever, so many things you are doing. You are taking care of the family, your children, everything. But your money is not yours. But that, you know, if 100 rupees you have to spend, you have to take permission. Can I take it? And there where it hit me, where are we going? Where are we going? So every single woman has to be financially independent, whether it's a girl College going, whether married to an affluent family or middle class, upper class, higher class, whatever class is just a designation. But 
financial independence is very, very important. This is the first thing. The second that, that made me really, you know, uh, crop up uh, writing the book, that is respect towards a woman, which is really falling down at a very grand stage. You know, uh, I, I have seen, I have seen people how, what is the respect of a woman? school teacher ho, whoever, whoever it is, like uh, respect, they, they feel that, oh, very easily available. Is it so? No, we, we, we worship the goddess. You know, we worship the goddess. We have so high regard for the goddess. Every today, this pass, tomorrow, that pass. But that same respect we cannot give to the uh, to a mother of your of my child or to to, to the uh, housewife or to the uh, daughter-in-law of that house. Why it is so? Why taken for granted? Why it is being taken for granted? We are not only the vegetables only to <clears throat> give birth to the children or uh, uh, just to take care of the house. We have so many other things to do, and. Some incidences, some personal incidences, when I when it came with from my side and happened with me, and that was the time somewhere it had stuck my mind that uh, no, this thing has to be you know somewhere it has to be brought to stop standstill, and there where the girls has to be raised in such a way that they will have the financial independence, they will be equal. We only speak equality, gender equality is where we only speak. But do we really follow the gender equality? I, I sometimes have a question. So that somewhere made me, when I found these are the things, these are the areas, and when I came very closer to it, very, very closer to it, when I saw a few of the incidences, that made me feel that, no, I should be writing. And uh, some of them was very close to my heart, and that made me just take a paper and a pencil and just, uh, you know, jotting down the, points and slowly. It's still in the process. I've not yet completed it. Both the books have six chapters, but I could hardly finish it with two because it's, I'm so preoccupied. But let's, keeping the fingers crossed, 2024 comes with a much uh, bigger like uh, things for me to finish uh, up this and release it. So this is how it is like, um, both, the, both the books are very close to my heart. There are a lot of personal experiences being shared in that. And uh, from that only I got that, uh, uh, what I should say, that power or that energy to write. Um, it, it should be. The first, whatever income hai, nahi hai, the first thing that I believe is every woman, whether it's a girl of five years, whether it's a newborn child, or whether it's your housewife, or whether you're a wife, your mother, whatever, you should be respected. Very important. No matter what, no matter what is your financial background, no matter what is the marital status, whatever, you should be respected. And that is somewhere, some places, not all, but somewhere I could see that is not there or not happening. So then that also made me, those points made me start writing the book on this. <laughs> that Hats off to you, ma'am, for that brilliant work that you've started. You. Hats off to you. Uh, lots Thank of you, power, more power to you, ma'am. Uh, and we love to read this book Thank very you. soon. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Definitely. My dear friends, all my sisters out there, you have to buy this book once it is in the market. We definitely have to lay our hands yeah. on that and read because, yes, ma'am has spoken about financial independence. As you said, ma'am, in spite of the female member, the, the woman working, she's not able to use the money that she earns. She has to take permission even for a hundred rupees to buy. It, she's earning and bringing it but she's unable to use it we've seen that yes. and that is one bitter truth hard hitting truth in india and across the world which has to be really rectified and you have to get your due i really stand by you with this ma'am it's very true we've been experiencing being, experiencing this a lot in the society we've seen many cases like that yes, and apart from that to respect every woman no matter what no one has the authority to devalue anybody or be judgmental. Yes, right. it's really nice. I'm just looking forward to reading that book. Thank you so much. And I would Thank love you, to have many more Sanchita Brahmacharis out. I would love to have many. Yeah. <laughs> surely, yes. surely, surely, surely. May your tribe increase, they say, right? So I want many of them to stand up like this. 
and speak up right. against any injustice. Write a book or be vocal about exactly. it. But don't sit exactly. and be silent sufferers. Don't allow the right. abuser to, you know, take advantage of you because of you. You are silent all the time. Snap exactly. back at the right person at the right time. Give it back to right. them. Yes, absolutely. And writing, yes, yes. I'm very proud of you, ma'am. Very proud. And all of Thank us you, should do that. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Thank you for sharing all of that with us. Dear ma'am, we come on a lighter note now. We talk about movies. What about your favorite movie? I love watching movies. Any movies it is, whether it's any language. Uh, recently, just last two days uh, prior, I was watching a movie of Sam Bahadur, as well as uh, Sam Manik Shaw. And I just love the movie, not because of Sam Manik Shaw. Yes, I uh, used to love that person. I used to really respect that person. Uh, but in the movie, the way he used to lead his team, and with that confidence, with that poise, and with, with that determination, that actually uh, it had lured me to, it was very late night, uh, after I think 1.30, uh, by the time it could finish, it was almost around 2, 2.15. 2 I couldn't stop in between. I, it just, you know, took me. So, let me see a little more. Let me see a little more. Let me see. Then this just went on. And that movie, it was so that, yes, because we are into this kind of uh, work that we do. Uh, so where leadership is required at certain point of time, yes, we need to motivate where somewhere the person is not able to move because they're not getting that kind of motivation. So that, that those small, small things, you know, really uh, made me love that movie. I, uh, I thought, I, again, whenever I get a chance, again, I will see it. <laughs> so that is one. And I love to watch movie, whether it is any, any language, and uh, language, actually, sometimes it becomes a bar, but uh, when you are, uh, you know, more connected now, so even if the language you don't understand, you at least come to know the storyline. So whether it's a Bengali, whether it's English, or whether it's Hindi, Marathi, whichever, I love to watch movies. That is what it is. Language is not a barrier. Just looking at Absolutely. it, you just understand the emotions yes. that they share and Ab the story. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very nice, dear. Ma'am, I would like you to reshare the name of the story, uh, the movie. You want me to name it again, the movie? Yes. Sam the... Bahadur. Lal Bahadur. Sam Bahadur. Sam, Sam Bahadur. Sam Bahadur. Sam. Is it S-H-A-M? S -S no, S-A-M. Sam Bahadur. Sam Bahadur. It is, uh, it is uh, the actor is Vicky Kaushal. And uh, it's, it's basically on the life of uh, Sam Malik Shaw. Sam Manik Shah. So um, during uh, the early days, he was uh, in uh, uh, lots and lots of contribution he's having. So uh, time of Indira Gandhi and those those uh, independence, post independence and all. So during stuff on that uh, talk. So I just love the movie. Once again, I will be watching it. But this was just that that determination, that poise, that that confidence. Uh, he used to have uh, talking to his soldiers, his fellow soldiers. It was fantastic, just wonderful. And yes. uh, he used to have that words, you know, that words is to carry, it is carry volume. So that is more important. You talk less, but your words should carry volume. That is more important. Yes. That, that is what I feel. That's a good. That's a goodness of communication. <laughs> that's yeah. it. I'm going to also watch that. Yes, that's why I asked sure, you to be sure sure, the name. Surely watch it. I'll send you the name. Surely watch it. It is Sam Bahadur. S-A-M, Sam Bahadur. Yeah. Yes. Friends, you took, uh, please watch once such that you also gain some knowledge from that movie. It, it has Absolutely. a social message. Dear ma'am, what about holidays? You have to just take out some holidays for yourself. Yeah, now nowadays I get holidays. But uh, when I was in a principal's chair... Uh, that time uh, at certain point of time though i used to get holidays at some point at certain point of time we used to stay back we used to uh, you know like what i should say um, sacrifice our holidays but other than that i was very I, as i told you i was very i'm very lucky enough that uh, wherever whichever place i have worked every single place i was blessed with or surrounded with so supportive people that uh, this is how I have learned the work. You know, uh, many a places I didn't know how to do, what to do, uh, how to approach. But there were people behind me who would always come forward, ma'am, don't worry, just go ahead. I, we are there with you. 
so that that has made me you know reach till here today so yes you know often time i used to enjoy my uh, sundays and holidays with ever however it is possible i just love my holiday at this day. and we used to, i do really enjoy i do get nikali lete hum chuttiya thodi bahut ji ji nikali lete hum chuttiya hai kahan par jate hain ma'am chuttiyon mein well this is a very big question <laughs> ma'am uh, i am basically a home lover you know the, or, uh, most of the time i love being at my place mera ghar me and my house that used to be it is otherwise i am very fond of nature uh holiday going out on a holiday uh, my favorite place is always been uh, supported in nature like uh, the best place that i have visited up till now is my darjeeling northeast jewars these are the place uh, once again if i get a chance i will definitely go and of course one area is still yet to be uh, visited is ladakh tibet ladakh i would love to do it uh, that is an so uh, as i said on these i love snowfall i love forest i love uh, hills mountains so these are the areas that i love to be so whenever i if i get a chance definitely i will be there yes dear ma'am thank you for sharing dear thank you very much the next question you, comes ma'am. up dear how would you want to be remembered in this world and why should people remember dr sanchita brahmachari <laughs> uh how do you want me to remember yes. see um remember me as a person who is always open to learning remember me as a person who was always ready to move one step ahead to help you out whenever you are in distress or whenever you are in need of me uh don't talk good about me in front of me but uh, because after i go away i don't know what people, what the people will be talking about me whether good bad words nobody knows so till i am in this uh land alive so if you want to talk something good you definitely speak good and if you want to talk something bad you have you should have that much uh courage to speak bad also and if you want to say something bad do speak on my face so that i am able to rectify myself because usually what what usually the human nature is you know uh, we will speak very good in front of you oh my god you're so sweet oh you're uh, having this kind of problems uh, they will come as a you know uh, soul uh, for some time giving you solace but the moment you turn your back they are the one who will be talking rats about you so i always feel that you remember want to remember me so remember the goodness of me remember if any by any chance if anything ever uh, you have got benefited talk good talk good about anybody see bad to hum yu hi bol dete hain but you need lot of courage you know to speak out the best of somebody lot of courage is required you don't you may be not liking a person but uh, then it comes to your mind why should i talk good about that man or that woman but when you when you talk good about that person who must be uh, done something bad to you but that means lots and lots of courage so if and i am not there if i want to be remembered so talk something that made you feel to talk something and if you want to feel, talk bad yes but have that courage to speak the truth it should come from the core of the heart that is why i feel that i should be remembered by that because that is what i usually do if i want to talk something bad i'll say it on the face so that the person get a chance to rectify if you talk behind me i don't know no what you are talking so that that i always i always tell everybody usually my my colleague my counterpart whatever it is no you tell me because if you tell me directly i'll be able to correct myself but if you talk behind me i don't know what you're talking so that that correction will never happen every person nobody is you know like 100% correct there are mistakes people can do so at least that rectification will be there so i want me to rem- people should remember me like this yes people do remember me as a very hard core very strict disciplinarian that is what is the name the tagline that i have been getting of uh, from the beginning 
so theek hai it's okay i have been born and got to have raised in that way <laughs> so it's it's never right but yes uh, for my good work from uh, should remember if some way i could be of some help to them so something in this manner people should remember yes that's how thank you thank you for sharing so yes dear friends if you'd like to say something good say it on their face you'd like to see something negative also tell it right up to their face be very honest and open than doing this backbiting work you know peet peet ke peeche nahi baat karna hai samne aake bol do ki badalne wala kon hai hum hi hai agar badlav if they want to see a change in us they should tell it to us directly not behind us absolutely our... yes absolutely yeah. very true so let's lots of transformation uh, transformational thoughts like you know thoughts where you should be transformed transform your inner thinking and connect with people on a genuine uh, in a genuine way or on a genuine basis yeah. dear ma'am what is that one thing you love about that special girl you know who is she sanchita sanchita mein kya acha lagta hai what is the beautiful quality you love about sanchita that is you sanchita is very bold wow i love sanchita, that yes very bold and uh, sanchita is very as i said uh, very very uh, passionate about learning and uh, sanchita is very ambitious and uh, those all things come later but the first thing is sanchita is very bold sanchita cannot sanchita cannot hide things sanchita uh, 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 let me put it little more uh, deep uh, sanchita returns back uh, returns the things whatever sanchita has achieved sanchita gives back love to give back and that is what is uh, i have learned from my mentors that whatever you have learned so you should always share it give it so sanchita loves to give no matter how sanchita must have whatever she has achieved maybe very little less but whatever is possible give it away so as you share it you know we will get it three or four times more i think that is a law of attraction and uh, so that is what is all about sanchita first of all she is very bold and she loves to give yes chahe wo pyar ho mohabbat ho uh, learning ho understanding ho jo bhi ho so she loves giving yes that is how it is so this is all about sanchita yes to be bold and to give back to the society at the right time as much as you get you have to give double measure you will get again triple and four yes. times much more absolutely it's really nice dear ma'am अगर आपको बड़ी सी लॉटरी मिल गई तो आप क्या करेंगे आप लॉटरी तो मिलने से रही बिकॉज इन दिस यू नो हाथों की जो रेखा है ना इसमें कहीं आसान पैसा है नहीं देर इज नो इजी मनी तो वन ऑफ माई लाइक मैं गुरु जी हैजी मनी सो डोंट एवर बाय एनी काइंड ऑफ लॉटरी और डोंट गो फॉर एनी इजी मनी So still you are working, still you are on your foot, you are there. And the day you say, "I am tired" or "I am over," then it's over with you. So easy money nahi hai. Is the lottery or lottery has never lured me. My dad was very much into buying lotteries, and unko mil bhi jati thi. Bode bode chote chote amount we used to get also. I used to never. I was never fond of it. And from the time. uh my uh, guruji had said that this is not the then i said why why run for such thing which you know it is not that hato ki lakeer hi nahi hai so un 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 lakeeron ko aur tez karo jahan lag jo us lakeer ne kaha hai ki bhai humne mehnat kar di hai so hum wo hamare haath mein wo mehnat wali haath hai so we are just uh, i'm just working towards that so uh, lottery i am not very much interested or lottery hai nahi so i am not into much lottery kaam hi lottery hai na See my achievements. These are my lottery. So uh, I wouldn't say that way. Lottery, nahi hai. Ha, yehi sari very lottery hai. So I am preserving all those of the things you can see. Some things are here. Some things are there also. But I am not able to show you them. So, but uh, these are my my earning. Yehi meri kamai hai. And uh, meeting people like you, uh, really. Uh, and there are so many others. I keep on meeting and keep on learning, sharing. So this is my lottery. Yes, dear. What a beautiful way to explain uh, this process of you know the lottery process. I said, what about a lottery? And you've given such a wonderful <laughs> answer, ma'am. You mentioned your achievements. How did you feel when you got all of these rewards and awards, one after the other, one after the other, and all of them are you know well, high level. 
तो कैसा लगा आपको क्लाइंबिंग अप द स्टेप्स एंड टेकिंग द अवार्ड एंड कमिंग बैक वॉट टाइप ऑफ अ फीलिंग आई वॉन्ट टू नो बिकॉज आई हैव नॉट रीच टू योर लेवल वेव यू रीच रीच एंड अचीव सो मेनी अवार्ड्स which i've just shared earlier all of that to kaisa lagta tha when climbing up the steps i want to feel what was that feeling how do you feel when you climb up the steps to go and receive the award my first award was uh, the satakshi award it's a very prestigious award and then another very prestigious this uh, all all the awards is about the prestige was two awards which is very close three awards rather very close to my heart one is the satakshi award which was my first award the second was the rashtriya gaurav puraskar that was a national award it was a national award and the third one was my name been registered in the book of record that those achievements were so the first time when i received that award when i hold it that uh, trophy in my hand um i was very emotional because uh, i couldn't share it with anybody because uh, i had lost my mother by that time and uh, my father was not staying very near to me where i can uh, you know give go and you know just uh, hold him tight hug give him a great big hug and tell him that this is this is what your daughter has earned so this is what a learning you have given uh so it was only me who was me and my award was there because my daughter also was little far away so i couldn't uh, like uh, share it with her also but later when i came home and uh, when i shared it with that um we both cried a lot ab wo dukh ki rona tha ya khushi ke aansu the i don't know still whenever i think i do get emotional my eyes become moist uh, i don't know what was it because uh, there were certain times when uh, you know as i said you were tagged there was a time when people used to feel um, that uh, to talk to me also they were a little you know reluctant and it took me a very long time to understand why this was happening jo dost jo family members jo log itne kareeb the like uh, meeting friends and talking and enjoying the uh, like uh, holidays and all all of a sudden uh, why that kind of duriyan kaise aa gayi it took me a very long time to uh, understand and then one uh, one thing i had uh, told myself that the promise that i had taken that uh, a day will come when these very people will be calling me home and saying that sanjita chalo milte hain and when the day came i just smiled at myself I said this is the first award. The Takshi to I piche se. But in ye pehla award hai, jo aaya hai rahat chalke. That Tanja ta chalo long time ya you have we have not met. Chalo milte hai. I said yes. But when you are in your uh, your those you know rainy days, uh, you really come to know who are your own people, who are your friends, real friends. so uh, i have a very small number of uh, you know list of friends very bahut kam dost hai mere so uh, isliye mujhe bahut zyada dukh nahi hota hai. i i don't feel very bad because and i am a person who don't love to share my problems with others there are many times my mentors they say my seniors they say that such that you don't share your problems why don't you share your problems i said no problems makes me more you know uh, it gives me more challenges and that is where i tell myself that uh, let me see how much more can i go and all these whatever this is all that challenges at certain point of time i thought ki are baap re shayad possible nahi hai but then again immediately i used to say cut cut and move ahead and say no no it's very easy i can do it so that i can do it that that was somewhere it took me and yes um, sometime i cry to myself i don't like to show tears to others because uh, long time back uh, one of my teacher has uh, said uh, unfortunately uh, he is uh, not there he is resting in heaven he is among the angels uh, in the school and especially in the college he had said that uh, when you laugh the whole world laughs with you but when you cry you cry all alone nobody will come and cry along with you so never show your tears to others let others don't see that side of yours so whoever laughs whoever smiles uh, may not be always very happy 
there may be lots and lots of hardships lots and lots of uh, hidden you know uh, trouble uh, hidden somewhere so this is how is sanchita and this is how these are all my awards this is how the awards travel so uh, whatever i receive i do share it with my almighty then very near and dear yes kamla rao ma'am is one of them some few other teachers other mentors who am i with whom i was work i'm working i do share with them and of course my daughter is there so for me she is my friend she is my uh, daughter she is my friend she is my whole world bahut choti si duniya hai meri itna hi world hai yes my brother 7 years younger to me and his family very supportive we do fight we do quarrel but at the end of the day akhir bhai to hai so we do and now since we are lot of work and time limit so we are not able to meet every time we are not able to speak a lot but we are connected soul to soul so if i cry he understand that somewhere i am in trouble so definitely we get connected and this is how the journey went on this is how my uh, one one achievement i came uh, brought ahead and this is how this journey made me more stronger made me more uh, more harder or other things made me more uh, challenging to accept the thing yes it really feels good at the end of the day you make you make you feel good that yes. ha kuch to kiya maine something i have done that yes. is it yes thank you thank you for sharing all of that ma'am uh, much appreciated yes to be bold in the face of a storm to be bold in the face of ups and downs that is what makes you who you are yes dear and i really and then you've really achieved so many awards that's really very nice and then people getting back to you chalo jayenge baith ke khayenge thode der hamare ghar aaiye and all of that <laughs> yes dear. yes so time tells everything much appreciated right. and lot to relate to you know there's a lot that many of the women out there could relate with you with what you're sharing Yes, dear. Right. So, my dear sisters out there, it may be our brothers, irrespective of gender. Let us guide and you know enable others to grow, empower others to grow, not to pull them down, and not to you know backbite. जो भी है सामने कह दीजिए and solve the problem. Yeah. Wonderful sharing, ma'am. It's really a wonderful journey today. A genuine Thank one. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, dear. Dear ma'am, what about sports and games? When you were a kid or in college. did you ever take part in sports and games yes compulsorily we had to take part but i used i used to be always the last person to participate sports uh, it just never lured me much so i used to always you know go on a hide out but my uh, sports teacher is to somehow you know pull me out and make me run on the ground so this is how i was not very much fond of uh, sports actually Uh, i as i said uh, i was more into dancing more into you know um, like uh, uh, elocution and speaking these these anchoring these are my area these were my areas of uh, love but sports was i was it was not very much so i was okay with it but compulsorily that uh, uh, annual sport we had to participate to first round me out or dance the band bujh ke dobara daudna nahi pade so <laughs> this was how it is It never lured me much. For are you interested in cricket? Uh, yeah, at some time uh, the the only cricket match that I saw was of that Kapil Dev the World Cup, uh, which was really made me sit and watch in front of the TV because since everybody was watching, we were just schoolgoers that time, so everybody was watching, sitting and watching. So that was the only match that I had literally sat at one place and uh, watched. But otherwise, it's okay. Tell the future, whichever way it comes to, and not too much, not too much. Yes, uh, some time or the other. Yes. Way. Dear ma'am, what about smart work and hard work? From all the forty plus years of experience that you have and exposure to various zones, professional zones, how would you explain smart work and hard work? smart work today's day it is very very important than hard work everybody does the hard work every single person is doing the hard work the farmer you see the whole time he is toiling but they are also using smart doing the smart work with different type of gadgets they are using you know they are, they are also coming into smart so smart work will make you smarter smart work do such smart work which will lessen your time force 
which will lessen your time at the at the same time which will make your work more easier which will give your work complete and you will get much time to focus on something else that is what is difference between a smart work and hard work hard work everybody does like in our profession we all are toiling every day we are doing hard work hum karte hi ja rahe hain hard work lekin hard work ke sath mein jab main usko smart work mein if i am like i am transforming it into smart work so i am getting much more time to do something different to do to, to learn something more and at the end of the day deliver that also along as a as a added advantage towards our uh, kids or give that something towards our society so that is how it is so smart work definitely as on today's day we really need to know how to do the smart work whether it is the uh, introduction of uh, learning some uh, new uh, application or uh, knowing some more about some more gadgets which will make our work more easier so it's very important so today we cannot say no i don't know this i don't know that so you have to be self reliant and how you can be without depending on somebody that is against a smart yes dear dear ma'am may we now know the names of your best friends who have stood with you through thick and thin right from nursery class till date yes um बहुत ज्यादा तो नहीं है दो ही दोस्त है मेरे <laughs> नाम लेना जरूरी है बट एनी वे आई विल फील प्राउड टू टेक द नेम लक्ष्मी कृष्णा मूर्ति नाउ शी इज कृष्णा मूर्ति वेन शी वॉज एन मैरिड तो शी इज वन ऑफ दर्सन हु इज वेरी वेरी क्लोज टू मी एंड अनादर पर्सन अगेन अ कॉलेज गर्ल माई फ्रेंड दीपक Uh, was a classmate. They were both of them were my classmates. So these are the only two person whom I am uh, still associated with. Yes, all are there. Others are also there. But yes, uh, in the move of the time, everybody is busy in their world. But we are still connected. We do. We we are still. We still remain connected to each other. Uh, share our thoughts and views and moods and you know the happiness and the sadness. We all. So we are still connected with all that level. So soul to soul connectivity is still there. So we are not able to speak most of the time, but just we know that whenever there is a need, they are there. Yes, so they are my best of my classmates. So these are the two classmates who I'm associated till today. I had three doi classmates. Aaj aala ki classmates to bahut saare hain, but uh, I was as I told you uh, in my list of friends, I have got a very few names to be listed. So these are the only two, and of course my daughter when she. we came a little age of understanding so we used to i used to share each and everything with her so that i could get to know about her uh, things also so that's how we became both best friends aur kehti hai na maa aur beti hamesha best friends hi hote hain aur hona bhi chahiye so that is how so these two persons really exist and of course my daughter now one more person has uh, added to us is my son in law so This is how. But they are best friends. If you want to say so, these two are the people who have who has been my best friend. Yes. classmates. Classmates. Yes, dear. Uh, dear friends, uh, we'd like to thank all of the friends out there who are connected with our special celebrity, Dr. Sanjita Brahmachari. If you've been in her life, enriching her life in one way or the other, apart from the two best friends that Ma'am has mentioned and her family, lots of love to you and lots of respects to all of you. from the international fab talks at this moment we remember all of you as a part of our journey on this beautiful ship thank you for being thank with you. us thank you thank you so much my dear friends we'll have a short break and we'll be back again with our special celebrity dr sanjita brahmachari we'll share the space with her we'd like to know more about her and her thoughts and the wisdom that she's sharing with us and of course the vast experience that she has we'll take a small break and we'll be back again stay tuned and stay connected what the fuck is that again